I'm Stuart Ray and this is Crusaders TV. Here today we have Matt Reed. Um, two interesting facts about Matt. He's the second tallest player at the Crusaders, bounding in at six foot seven. Well, nearly. I'm still growing, only 17, so uh, hopefully catch Millsy soon. Second interesting fact, he was the uh, under-15s Cheshire champion at long jump. So, uh, switch codes, got into rugby. How's it going, Matt? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, the long jump career was uh, was never really going to happen. I uh, stopped growing at 15. Um, well, I think I did anyway. And <laughs> uh, obviously, you was a spectator at Swinton last week. A hard-fought game. Yeah, the Crusaders came away with a win, but a close game. Oh, don't do that, Andy. Close game. Uh, thoughts on the game? Yeah, uh, we looked good for parts of the game. Um, we probably should have buried him in the first 20 minutes, really, and uh, made it a bit of a scrappy game in the end. But um, all in all, good to get the win. Yeah, we came away with the win, so it all goes uh, into today's game. Uh, things to work on? Uh, just completion, really. Um, got to keep hold of the ball better, uh, not give as many penalties away, and uh, we'll be fine in this league. Obviously, you've got to start today after... Ooh. Is it raining? <laughs> 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 Obviously, you've got a start today, uh, your first uh, debut today for the club. Um, looking to impress? Not the debut, but uh, first start this season. First start this season, coming off the bench. Um, looking to impress? Yeah, I can't wait. I've been looking forward to this one all week um, since Clyde told me I was playing. Um, been a bit of frustration, obviously, not to get a game this so far this year. Um, spent a lot, of, a lot of nights in my room, bedroom. Uh, watching the notebook with Ben and Jerry's with the light turned off, just crying really on Friday nights when I've not been playing. Uh, close game last week, but Crusaders came away with a win. Two from three this season, things are looking positive. Yeah, good start. If you said that at the start of the year, everyone would have been uh, been pretty pleased. Disappointing that the White Haven game got called off. Possibly we, we would have also been three from four, but yeah, can't gumble that. Quite a few mistakes again uh, last week. Oh, we do play exciting football. Um, how could we correct those and maybe work to more of a structure? Uh, things to work on better for this week, maybe gain a bit of confidence with some of the players, you know, building uh, connections, completing sets. Yeah, that's the main thing, completing sets at certain times of the game. You know, the first 15 minutes last week, we looked like we was going to put a heavy score on them and then we just came away from what we're good at. Um, like I say, we, the players in our team, we're always going to score decent tries and we play attacking rugby and we don't want to stop that, but we just got to be a bit more sensible in in certain parts of the field. Two interesting facts about Andy. As a young boy, he used to collect stamps. He got his stamp collection up to 1,620, which is no mean 21, which is quite a collection, but he lost those in a house fire. Also used to play professional football for Bolton Academy before switching to rugby. So uh, you know, why did you switch codes? Sometimes I ask myself that, Stu, every day. <laughs> you know, you see all the multi-millionaire footballers and and you watch, see the rugby players. So Team yeah. spirit. Thanks for reminding me about that. Yeah, but obviously I wouldn't have met the likes of yourselves. Thank you. Well, that's probably not a plus thing. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'd, all my mates at school played rugby, so I thought I'd give up the millionaire lifestyle and start playing rugby. Great game last week. Uh, Crusaders came away with a win. Two from three now this season. Uh, great to get up against Swinton, David, former ex-team of yours. Yeah, it was a good game to have against them. I think... Uh, they give us a good uh, account of themselves. They came back in the second half and challenged us a bit, but good to go, come away with a win in the end. Great. Uh, John, obviously only 10, 15 minutes for you. Got a nasty blow to the head. How are you feeling this week? Have you recovered? Um, no sense, no feeling. Um, still not all there, but uh, um, we got the win. Looking forward to doing the head test again. Uh, not <laughs> got a good completion record. <laughs> Um, <laughs> just uh, <laughs> pass. Yeah, we'll yeah. definitely complete it this time. Mills, he got a bit ill this week as he was coming out, and Swinton he hit his head on the top of the uh, door frame. Uh, Swinton's changing was not made for really tall players. Uh, is there weather blame? There is a claim, Millsy. Um I'm hoping so. I think I've got a bit of the roof plaster stuck in my teeth, and it's gone down my throat. So that's um. That's just causing me a bit of a chest problem at the moment, so hopefully I can shake it off. You heard it here first, Swinton go under this year is because David Mills put a huge claim in for catching his head on the door frame.